And the Padres renew their rivalry against the Los Angeles Dodgers for the first time since the playoffs last October. And today there will be changes going into effect at Petco Park. News 8's Evan Irani has a closer look. Some big changes coming to Petco Park beginning with tonight's game against the Dodgers. The first, of course, being the added capacity inside of Petco Park. They are going to be making way for 33% capacity, so a third of those total seats filled. And now they will have socially distant and non-socially distant sections. Those non-socially distant sections will allow for 67% capacity, so about two-thirds capacity. There's only two ways to get, though, into those non-socially distant sections, and the ways to do so are going to be to either show proof of being fully vaccinated or to have a negative COVID test within the last 72 hours of the game you plan on attending. Uh, the Padre CEO speaking out about this yesterday, talking about what a big step this is for Petco Park. With increased attendance, we're able to safely welcome even more fans back into Petco Park in time for this homestand. And so everything I think is coming together really well to be able to celebrate our fans return and uh, some of the accomplishments from last season and also a key accomplishment, historic accomplishment from this season. So we're encouraging fans to arrive early for the game tomorrow night. We're going to open up gates two hours before first pitch and we're going to have a special pregame ceremony honoring Joe Musgrove and the franchise's first no hitter. And Padres fans have plenty to celebrate beginning tonight, not only with that special ceremony to honor Joe Musgrove's no hitter, but also the return of Fernando Tatis Jr. Beyond that, more fans will be here to celebrate inside Petco Park. These changes allowing for 67% capacity in those certain sections, 33% capacity in the ballpark as a whole. That'll accommodate about 15,000 fans in total. These updated limits will also make those sections available with that proof. So you will need to show either proof digitally or physically with that piece of paper of a negative COVID test within 72 hours or full vaccination. Fans 13 years and older also must show photo ID along with that. Now, those changes are the, not the only ones that you can expect here at Petco Park. You can also expect concession stands to reopen. This was something that many Padres fans had previously not been very used to, using the MLB Ballpark app to exclusively order any of those concessions. Now every level of Petco Park will have those concession stands open. There will be no money that can be transferred. You cannot use paper money, but you can use a credit card, a debit card, or an app to transfer whatever balance that you need. They also are still encouraging you to use the app if possible and remain in your seats too. So this is of course a big step for uh, Petco Park and for the Padres kind of leading the way in showing how now that these numbers are dropping in positive COVID cases, and the numbers are rising and the number of people vaccinated, how we can start getting these kinds of events back to normal. I'm Evan Irani, News 8.